What's up? Sean Ames here from Heart of America, FPV, and it's been a while since I've checked in about the trailer conversion. I haven't done a lot, but I have done some stuff, so I wanted to uh, check in. I got some time this afternoon carved out. We're going to work on it. So first things first, I've got this kind of warming up because uh, this is actually the second one I bought. The first one I got, I tried to cut and it shattered because it was too cold. What this is is the bottom, the tray, to a dog kennel. Found it on Amazon for, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks, something like that. And uh, what this is gonna be is the tray that goes under my AC unit to collect the water. And I'm gonna have this hose that will actually drain it down and out. So a few things, uh, this is my mattress to my bed. It fits nicely. I got bored one day, so I installed my TV. I'm gonna use bungee straps to hold that secure, but it's got a nice mount that pulls out so like I can face it out of the trailer if we're kind of in camping mode, or obviously it can be in here. I can use it as an extra screen, doing like race ops from in here. But yeah, back here, up under here, I got this little door made. There's all my electrical stuff. I made a bottom here for all of that battery down there. Anyway, I want to get the AC situation going because it's so hot outside. Yeah, it's not hot outside, but um, that's kind of the next big thing to get done. So let's do that and uh, have some fun. So uh, I did a quick Lowe's run. I got a lot of progress done today here in the trailer. I got it all cleaned up, cleaned up the garage, which was a big part of the motivation for messing with all this this afternoon was uh, get the garage cleaned up a little bit. But having a look around, I got the AC hooked up. It works. Don't want to turn it on because it's freezing outside. You know, obviously trimmed it up. Um, did some trim down there. I got my lead acid battery secured. I put my bed in its little case just to keep it clean. I didn't get a lot of images of the AC in regard to how I did it. That's actually good because I don't want this to be like a how-to because I am fumbling my way through all this. I could be messing stuff up. I'll put links in the description to the stuff I bought off of Amazon, but essentially I got the tray from the bottom of a dog kennel. It's the perfect size for my AC. I used like a little drain attachment that would typically go in an aquarium. I drilled a hole. I drilled a hole in the plywood that is called setting on. I got a little bib and a tube that runs down and out to the bottom of the trailer so it can drain if there's any condensation. In regard to the AC, I've only got the one big vent up there and the way an AC works is there are intake vents on the sides and on the top but then the back of it is the condenser coil thing. So like you really want those to be 
vented in two separate areas while well, I only have one vent. What I ended up doing was taking some of that blue one inch insulation foam I have, separated it. I kind of split the vent in half and so the back half of the vent is for the condenser and the front half of the vent is the intake for the air. So, but what I picked up at Lowe's, just some odds and ends really. The big thing was I got some little like clips and some bungee cables cord thing to secure everything like the TV and the bed and I'll probably have a, a spot to hang some gates and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna do right here real quick is get some of these installed and I get everything kind of bungeed down. So I'm still need to work on my door. I wanna do some sort of latch from the inside so that I can lock it. The other thing that's important is on the outside. I want to make it to where you can't lock me in. <laughs> I don't want to be sleeping here and have one of my drone racing friends uh, lock me in the trailer. So pretty much done for today, for tonight. I'll go ahead and send you out with the time lapse of me installing these bungee cords and stuff. But uh, thanks for checking this out. I'm not really sure how often I'll be doing these updates. I don't really know what's next. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. We'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV.